everybody, and welcome to Ruston, Louisiana. Tonight on ESPN Plus, we renew a rivalry which started. The kickoff is a high tumbler, and it will carry the distance into the back of the end zone. So, Northwestern State will put its own. line to make is the 35. Blitz coming from the outside. Vanderwall keeps it, runs right through the gap, and has the first down. A nice play selection and good. Vanderwall looking. He'll scramble again. He's got some yardage. He's got five. He's got 10. He's got 11 and a first down to the far side. Two wide receivers remain on the right side. Hank Bachmeyer fires it out. He's got a man on the first possession. And Ryan Rivera, the tight end, goes to the left side, sets up and will stay in. Now he's going out, but the throw is going deep. And we've got contact at about the 40-yard line. Two wide receivers left, a pair on the right as well. Running room for the Louisiana Tech running back. He goes all the way. And if it's a limited roll this week, limited carries, that's a good way to spend. And a great of job of breaking a would-be line of scrimmage tackle. And all the Louisiana Tech scores on its opening possession. About to occur. The line to make is the 35. Vanderwall steps away. Penalty marker down, could be holding. Vanderwall is able to run for a first down, but 7 0 lead. You betcha. Bachmeyer back, shooting deep. He's got a receiver. It is caught at the five yard line. And will reverse back to his original position. Bachmeyer rolling right, stops. He's in trouble. He lets it fly and wisely guns it out of bounds to a left footed kicker. And this short field goal is up, and it is good. Attacking the north end zone. Another delay handoff, and there's plenty of room running up the middle. Boone all the way to midfield and maybe a step beyond. Shelton, a transfer from Miami of Ohio. Buckmeyer sets, fires it on the outside shoulder. The catch is made. Let's see if they rule he was out of bounds. The swing pass goes left side. The receiver makes a man miss, but he's cut down. There, also major rust and ties on that offensive line with Stevie Ballard for NSU. Vanderwall fires it deep. He's got an open receiver. That's Jones. Tyler Vanderwall sends Adams in motion. Vanderwall looking to Adams. He's open in the end zone. He catches it. It's a touchdown. And big Chris, nobody, nobody got Adams. Strike it. And the kick is up, and the kick is true. So history, with 30 that seconds. part of it probably doesn't matter to them as much as the fact that a lot of these guys. Numbers in a moment. Second down and seven. Bachmeyer hands off to Shelton. He reverses. Shelton gets a block. Shelton gets another block. Shelton is able to scramble. Play. Bachmeyer calling for it on second and about six. He pulls it down. He's going to keep it. He's to the 40 and gets to the 40. Five. A big moment for those old timers. There is running room. This is going off down. Louisiana Terrell. He was untouched. He ignited the Jets. Terrell made the little jump cut to the right. That's Keith Willis Jr. Lynn making the oh, sprint my, oh, to I, glory I, number two. Third down. Line to make is the 35. Vanderwall throws it outside. This year, a lot of people called that the confusion bowl. You could see the same between Northwestern and NSU someday. That's true. Just half, 848 and counting. Vanderwall looks for the man on the slot pattern, and that's Dennis Smith trying to claw his way. This is Burrell again. He's into the secondary. He drags a tackler with him. First down, Demons at the 34-yard line. This is a solid drive, really. Burrell makes a move, steps outside. He's got open field to the 20, to the 15. He's yanked off his feet at the 10-yard line. I think they find the receiver to the left side. Vanderwall has time. He's going to keep it. He stumbles. He stays on his feet, and he gets to Vanderwall has rushed surprisingly for shined so far today that escapability and able to go to the end zone 
without getting a hand laid on him. He will he come has back and check Vanderwall's rushing numbers after this timeout. 17-14 Bulldogs. After a gain of five, throw goes out to the right side. This will be good enough for a first down. It's in counting. Back to the ground. The burst by Willis. He's still on his feet. Look at the little water bug go. Bachmeyer looks. He's flushed to his right. He's got room if he can get to the corner. He's hit hard. Bachmeyer barking signals. He fires, loops it to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown! And the 6'2", 200-pound senior leaped at the proper moment. For a touchdown last week against SMU, it was a 53 in the 70s. A couple of national, three national championships coming over the course of that span, one of which we're honoring this evening. Vanderwall will throw. Guns it over the middle. He's got his man for a first down. Actually is right below us along the press box. And of course, I saw it coming into the stadium. Vanderwall is overturned. 28 remaining in the second quarter. It's bobbled. And the texters are all over it. Back. Back to the ground, a huge hole. And Louisiana Tech scores Thornton, taking it to the end zone. A burst up the middle. To pay dirt. Burt Hale also in on helping. Another play on the ground. And a good effort results in a first down, it appears, and the clock. Lacey up the middle, gets to midfield. This will stop the clock as he runs for a first down. Now you have 10 seconds to try. Vanderwall in trouble. Throws it as far as he can into a gaggle of players. It is intercepted, it appeared. Field goals, Indeed. need to turn them into touchdowns here. Here's a throw, it's caught inside the 10, inside the five, and being spun down is right up the middle again, and forging his way to about the two yard line is the demon ball carrier. It's Cope. Louisiana Tech led by more than 10 at halftime, but Northwest, and so we will see what happens here on the ensuing kickoff, but Chris, certainly a good start by the visiting team. Let's give some credit to Northwestern's right tackle. 10 10 at the 50 yard line. Bachmeyer hands it off inside. And a little bit of running room. Bachmeyer out of Boise State. Will throw. Sets. Guns it down the far sideline. In Louisiana Tech's extends its lead by three points. We will step aside here for a moment. Louisiana Tech leading Northwestern State. Dr. Paige Valentine, the official dentist of Louisiana Tech Athletics. Right up the middle tonight, Willis especially, and breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage, breaks another one there, stiff. There from the last bastion of hope for the Demons in Era Rawls, the third. Yes. Are you seeing what we're seeing? Returns the interception for the touchdown. The Louisiana Tech secondary. The extra point is good. Chris, a reminder that Louisiana Tech leads Conference USA in four chances turnovers. are severely limited now that Woods had that INT taken back to the house. Remember, the Demons came out of game 10 of the last 22 games with an ankle injury. But he's a guy who has coming into this game at four career. Yeah, he's somebody that really sees the importance in this game against him. Tonight with a little bit of a wider margin, but at the start of the evening, the kennel was packed. Darius Boone probes the middle, doesn't get much.
That looked like Willis bust through. First down, Louisiana Tech at the 47 of Northwestern. See the numbers on Hanks. Yes, it was. was. Now he's going to leave the game. Smoke Harris returns. Second down and goal. This Louisiana. ability for Louisiana Tech to on how many wide receivers or how many receivers have caught balls tonight. That's six in total then. Second down and goal from the three. And there is to figure out a third down and eight play. So I talked about Brad Laird and his history with Rust. And, all and the kick has plenty of leg and it is good. So Jen you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. They are anything but consistent. They'll miss what is normally considered easy. I would look for Louisiana Tech to have a really good chance at pulling the upset there at Memorial Stadium. Her freshman unable to score his first collegiate touchdown. Had it in his grasp, ready to put that ball in his trophy case, Lynn. On Sneed, who plays the beast position, that's essentially an outside. NSU declines it, yep. actually. Don't want to give them more breathing room on the punt attempt here. Remaining. Hawkins is calling for the football. He will keep. Final couple of minutes, and Katarius Hawkins likes the experience that. Rather, Brad Laird loves the experience that Hawkins brings to this team. And they needed to do so. Northwestern State made this one a little too close for comfort early on. And you started to think. In just a moment, let's pick up that conversation right now with Coach Sonny Cumbie here as Matt. Next week. Well, they've really played three solid games, you know, back to back these first three games. And we gave them some help finally on offense. We were really feaster. Rushing yards were doubled up by the Bulldogs. First down's about even, Chris. Penalties were a little excessive for both. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. From Ruston, Louisiana,